folks this is Beano Black and basically uh, what I had is uh, I mean I still have it up and this is basically where I do show all of these and what I've had to do is I've had to make it where you have to cut and paste these uh, radiation which is rads and CPM which is counts per minute of radiation and uh, I got a friend and I'll put her name in here in a second of uh, believe that she told me it's okay to use her stuff anyway I'm just gonna show her because she's on this on YouTube but this is my super giants and ie I have never authorized uh, this advertising up there okay uh, I don't really want to show it okay now this is me super giants main sequence and you guys should if anybody has known me for a long time from Dutch the, this is my pirate channel and what I've done is went back in here and uh, I've got some of these videos and I'm going to try to rearrange so that some of the new stuff that shows the baby blue kachina so forth and so on but you can send people to uh, I think you should be able, yeah you should be able to read this website address here and it'll let you know if you know anybody that's any gals out there that are pregnant and carrying because the idea that like I've advertised on here for a long time is yeah okay the rads here dangerous above 130 now they've got people and even the, my friend that I'm going to mention her name she's saying 100 uh, over above a 300 CPM is dangerous okay now that is true but the original level for danger in this country up until the Fuka Fudge up incident was 130 CPM folks okay uh, anything above 130 CPM would be considered dangerous now they say 300 CPM is dangerous uh, any CPM for anything three years and younger child and anything pregnant or getting pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant you better check what kind of area you're in and yes there's certain uh, magnetic complexations of radiation rads uh, if you go to my hang on a second and I'll open up my uh, Beano Black channel because I think I still had all my uh, stuff to links to go to rads and stuff there so here we are folks and ba basically over in the left hand side on my uh, which basically I think I'll go ahead and hit replay on that but you know that uh, basically letting you know about Nibiru and we got the baby blue kachina go check that out this is probably and I'm really surprised we got 385 people have looked at me just filming the the moon that night but anyway I filmed the moon that night working with a friend of seeing uh, her daughter took some pictures she did catch Jupiter I mean I caught Jupiter too if you watched the little video but the most important is to go and watch this one and go back and watch uh, I'll hit my uploads real fast oh yeah scan down here through your the ones that you need to pay attention on the blue kachina is the idea that the Chinese and their space deal caught it so panties off the dwarf stars thanks China for giving that footage and then it matched up with the guy that sent me the American space shuttle uh, with uh, astronaut officer Scott being communicated with and you can see it on there and then uh, we've got the flopper dissection from out of the China's dwarf and you go to Antarctic shows the baby planet uh, infinite positive baby second son uh, and then our buddy down in Arizona friend up there down there uh, he's got a hold of it and you can see it and basically what started me on all this stuff was a guy over in Pleasanton and I'm gonna to try to research and get him I should be if you can go back into my favorites and see one of the favorite first favorite videos that I've ever showed was got me hooked on this that, that it's up there is the idea that, and then I found out about the super giants so then the guy the kid that was had his dad's welding deal and went out and showed me that the idea that we had it coming down out of the sun and I knew about Nibiru and the idea that I opened up the super giants main sequence and then we had Fuka fudge up and then the ra radiation concerns and then the idea uh, I mean I had friends going only is it true Ron I mean you really think that because I could read data you know and you know I had a friend and her dad you know he's done uh, supervisor control and data acquisition even whether he knew it or not by gauges and stuff that he's done in the oil fields for years so the idea that I said yeah it's right there it's in the data and you can go to all these links and it'll show you the radiations in the data and so forth and so on so and then they've hassled Dutch they've hassled a lot of people on the internet Kerasoff we know about them and now there's an example they're worried about the asteroid belt and you knowing about the 
baby blue kachina because this is a video that I've had on here and I haven't went to my pirate site for a long time because I didn't have feel I had any need because I have all these radiation sites where you can go ahead and cut and paste and go and check out what's in your food. Now there it is interesting because you can go to and cut the these milk and food at the Japan radiation thing and everything like that. Let me show you real fast. Now here's what I've sent you people to for a long time and now what you do is you scoot down and this is federal site and it's kind of basically there's actually this is a contractor from somewhere in Japan or something like that okay now I'm gonna just, I'm not don't know what they're gonna show us now but they used to yeah okay now they, there is data in here okay but and I sh unless they can surprise me and they're not I was hoping I'd go in here and see some fresh data but this is the scary thing folks is they have quit showing us stuff that's in and let me see which one am I at right now because basically you'll go here and you'll be able to get milk, drinking water, air filter cartridge and everything like that. And I want to thank the gal that she was worried about what we all are kind of worried about. These rats and stuff from Virginia I think she's at or something. She's East Coast. Uh, I'm just going to mention her name. But this is the deal that bothers me is the idea that they have quit letting us know about anything from the fourth month of the year on. Okay. I gave these sites out. As a matter of fact, I think that we had information from the 6th and 7th, and they've taken it out. Okay, this is air cartridge, and I think this one is air cartridge radiation analysis. Let's go to the one that's the most important for everybody, because little kids eating, drinking milk and radiation. So let's see what the latest they've had on that. And see, this is another thing that's worried and concerning a while ago, and I didn't make a video. And i.e. for certain reasons, because, you know, they've hassled Dutch about harp. We know that's all true. Uh, we know this radiation is true. Uh, I just think basically the whole country is starting to wake up. Uh, P I've had people overseas. I've had hundreds of countries into my w a website, my pirate site. That I so, folks, I'm not going to share the overseas information, but the idea that I've had lots of people from overseas at my site. Okay, uh, I think that the Kerasoft and any government overlord, over control, can kind of basically control YouTube for not allowing. Because if you notice, if when I did my China video for let me give you an example okay i'll give you the example after that this video is no longer available because the uploader has closed his youtube account folks i haven't closed my youtube account okay you guys know that okay i.e here's my account folks we're up and active you guys know that so so in a little example too folks i go to my channel to show you me you know i'm still up and active right now watch what uh and this is the part the tagging that karis off does okay see the that number and I showed you in my other videos and see up here if you can see through this milk that they got trying to knock the channel down uh, there you go they tag me so you gotta watch your tags okay let me try to straighten this out so a good example how they mess around folks I'm gonna basically go through my what I got on the channel here real fast and basically did they knock it all down on everything Everything was going just fine, and then I started recording about rads, and let's let's see what happens here. Hang on. So one of my friends from uh, Stonely's channel, and basically Dutch Sense, and Dutch Sense with a C, we'll see what happens on that stuff. But uh, her, her daughter, and just the idea that she went out there and probably froze her butt off or whatever last night. Uh, Okay, folks, so you know my channel's up still, you know, so that when them showing you that the idea that, or showing me too, or anybody that goes to my channel, that the idea that... Uh, and then here's our buddy, Stonely, that's been pretty much letting his site be able to, for everybody out of Dutch sense, pretty much majority is over there talking and chatting at Stonely's. Uh, so Itchy, I don't know how you pronounce it, how you got here, but this is her website, or, you know, male, female, I'm not actually positive, positive on that. Uh, but she's doing, what I believe, a great job out there. I think that she was in, let's look at her site here real fast, hang on, I'll pull it down, I just don't want to... You know, until I get authorization from her to show her nameplate on YouTube and stuff. But as you can see, you know, she's got Chile anything down here in Dutch. And then the idea that she is helping us out on letting everybody know about radiation. So, uh, check her site out. That's her address right there. She's on tube up here. You can see Itchy Bonds 4. Itchy. H E C A X fours channel, okay, and she's letting you know, basically about. Uh, let me scoot it up, and she's being real straightforward, and she has reasons too, and everybody does. Uh, she shows out an, an old Fallout 
animated nuclear preparation film, but it's basically fact. They were worried about it during the Cold War, and I think you can see that the IDA still should have the... I've always tried to keep it over here for... Uh, yeah, nuclearcrimes.org now. I don't know if someone bought them out and pressured them that way, and then they sold their site out, and then they had this, but they would give a lot of stuff about food, milk, water, jet stream, and stuff like that. But you should still should be able to go to the nuclearcrimes.org and get them. Uh, the Hoosin it should be able to give you uh, actual still what's going on over there and and these other links that I have on the left-hand side. It's not just the sun that I was looking at before and everything. I try to keep it a little bit separate to not confuse people, but the idea that I do have the stuff for, uh, it should load in a second for that, but the idea that most of the stuff that's up by, like this one here, okay, that's the link for the Japan, but the idea, the number one thing is to send people to my Supergiant's main sequence, and this is my actual website control thing to publish and everything like that. The advertising that you see up there, I'm not authorizing that, so I guess basically I'm still basically up and so if we want to get unlimited access or something like that, we'll try to work out something PayPal-wise in the future for everybody, and then they could just, because it'll be unlimited access, and we could just trounce this thing with uh, radiation information and RADs and HARP and what's going on up in space and our space weather and the blue kachina that they don't want to let anybody talk about too much, and that's why the chemtrailing is for... Also, we're in the super giants and the suns in the super giants, and the idea that uh, they don't want you to see this. They are scared of you knowing. I mean, we've caught the Russians possibly giving messages back and forth with some information on Ellen and data. There's all kinds of crap going on. They don't want you to see, and I know I spelled it wrong, I'm just going to leave it that way. Uh, uploaded it that way, and they don't want you to see the baby blue planet that's out in front of the sun, folks. You get some welding goggles, and you can see it. Started a video off of showing you asteroid YU-55, a guy caught it with an 8-inch telescope. That's the ending there, and going back. So the idea that we'll see how much time I got here and try to see what I was going to originally... Uh, what I was going to originally give you guys tonight. Uh, but the idea that when I opened up, went to my pirate site, the first thing I saw was that crap about the idea that they uh, not wanting or showing that the idea that I have my YouTube site down. So, and you've seen it. I mean, basically, it was uh, the idea that as soon as it gets done with that, but I'll make commentary here because this video is going to get down here in a minute. We're getting close to 15 minutes. The idea that my Alarath of showing you that the idea that the asteroid belts and NASA lying to you on that Thursday commentary that they did that show saying there's no asteroid belts near us. Well, the idea, all this stuff is close by us. So, and IE, I got a snapshot here. I can show you real fast. So the idea that the sun is doing an M class and we have uh, more electrical magnet coming at us from outer space, gigantic waves. I mean, the sun probably farted more on, I think this was the ninth. I can't, it doesn't, because this is a snapshot that I'm looking at real fast, but I believe this was the ninth. And if you go to space weather, let me go to space uh, weather real fast. So, yep, folks, it was the big farting on uh, the 11th, nine. And I'll hit refresh, and it should play it again. This will kick in. And you will see a lot of the V action and stuff that we've been talking about up by. Uh, he does a real good slow motion. I mean, they did a real good slow motion here on the beginning of it. But go there to this address, because I'm going to hurry up and go show you the rest of Space Weather. So anyway, you can go to Space Weather, and you'll have your solar winds and your X-ray. They'll talk about the solar X-ray flares. And we got incoming. CME, uh, the 9th, and kind of coming, hitting us on probably the 11th and 12th, and I even think there was something on the 14th. So the idea that we got 
more electrical energy coming and also I was going to let you know about the idea that if you look at their picture this is constellations and not just the solar flare there. That solar flare there is constellations showing up on the sun there when that picture. So I'll leave your disclaimer and go to space weather if I